two types of people in this world, people who call it gifts and then people who are wrong. We interrupt this program to bring you this important message. Welcome to Marketing Interruption, a daily podcast powered by Blue Tusker that interrupts your day with marketing news, tips and strategies from an entrepreneur who lives and breathes marketing. Now, let the interruption begin with your host, Andrew Maff. Hello and welcome to episode number 79 of the Marketing Interruption Podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Maftone. Today, I'm going to talk to you about giving your business a little flair and some character by using GIFs. Uh, yes, I say GIFs because that's the correct way. And if you think it's GIFs, you're more than welcome to stop listening to this podcast. Um, there's two types of people in this world, people who call it GIFs and then people who are wrong. So yesterday I did a podcast on memes and I was like, all right, well, there's other kind of goofy viral things that you can attempt to use. Um, and I, I wanted to stick to this. So, and of course I'm going to do my best here to kind of stick to this Black Friday, Cyber Monday feel, but so let's talk about what it is, right? Usually it's like a three to five second video that repeats. So it's kind of like a boomerang if you've ever seen that on Instagram, but it just repeats itself. So, you know, people find funny things that they said and then they put text in it or subtitles or they see someone do a funny move and then that just kind of gets repeated. So it's something that can be leveraged very well when in, done in the correct context. They don't work really well on Facebook uh, or on Instagram for that much. They don't They don't really allow, uh, when you upload videos and stuff, it doesn't um, kind of repeat like a GIF would. Like technically a GIF is never ending. It will just completely repeat itself whereas a video obviously has a beginning and an end. Um, but so you can't really upload them that well on Facebook or on Instagram. However, on Instagram, they do work well with stories and there's even like a GIF search that you can do in stories, but I was talking about creating them, right? So you can actually create your own very easy to do. All you have to do is go to giphy.com. So that's actually G I P H Y.com. And essentially you need to create an account. You have to verify it. I believe you need to upload a handful of gifts just on your own. And then there, I think you apply or something to become like a brand or something along those lines. It's been a while since I did it, so forgive me. But you can then just create your own gifts, upload them, and people can take them. And they're awesome for <clears throat> kind of giving. I love to use them in newsletters, and I've started to enjoy using them a little bit more in blog posts. Blog posts, I try not to use too many. Uh, if I had like a GIF would, of this would do really well here, then I would, I'll would i do it, but I'll just do one. And the issue is, is I find that they can slow the page speed down a little bit more than I'd like it to be. So I try not to use them too much. And if you're doing like screenshots, uh, uh, GIFs and stuff like that, usually I think a screenshot goes much further than a GIF would. Um, but I'm talking about like, you know, a big movement of some kind is, is great with GIFs. I do. I love them for newsletters. I think they work great with newsletters. I think if you can justify adding emojis to your subject line, your snippet, or even occasionally inside the newsletter, and then also using GIFs, you're, you'll actually find that your newsletters kind of have a little bit more, I guess, character to it. And you'll find that people are actually going to open them up a little bit more. Um, so they're great to incorporate. So obviously, if you incorporate your product line, that's fantastic right? Like that one's obvious. And I would even suggest to do it. And in some cases, you might want to just create GIFs and throw them up on Giphy just to have them because Giphy kind of acts like a giant search engine of GIFs. So basically what will happen is if someone is searching for something that has a heavy search volume in GIFs and your product shows up, they may end up using that GIF and sharing it. So it kind of comes down to a weird SEO side of, of Giphy there where you can actually try to just get your GIFs on the first page of whatever search it is you're going after. It's a bit of a stretch, but it could definitely work. If you can get your own GIF to go viral, it'd be fantastic. Um, they work great on Twitter. I love using them on Twitter too, mainly because you can really convey like a smart ass comment, which is what Twitter is basically known for. Um, so if you look at some of the great Twitter accounts out there, like Burger King and Wendy's and Denny's and all the fast food places that apparently have just great social media, 
Um, their Twitter accounts, they use GIFs a lot. And you can kind of see what I mean by using it to just kind of have like a witty, smart ass type response. But I would definitely suggest if you can have kind of a mass appeal concept to your consumer base, I would always give GIFs a try as best as you can, especially in cases like the ones I just mentioned of social media and uh, newsletters just because, or even blog posts, just because most of the time people are expecting that type of channel to be stagnant, right? They're not expecting movement on that channel. So if you can actually have a GIF that's constantly moving where they don't have to press play and it's just already moving, it works out great. Um, basically all I wanted to touch on today. Uh, one more thing actually, now that I think about it, there's one other place that I like to put GIFs and it's when someone, uh, if I have a pop-up on a website where you have to give me your email to get a discount, <clears throat> next page, so basically like the thank you page, I love to have some ridiculous GIF there saying thank you along with the coupon code and all that. I think it works great. Gives a little bit of extra character. That's another one I just remembered. Um, but yes, that was it. That's all I wanted to talk about today. If you're using GIFs in any other way besides what I just mentioned, I would love to hear about it and I'll add it into another episode somewhere or I may just steal your idea. Uh, but shoot me an email at marketing uh, interruption at bluetusker.com. And of course, you can shoot me an email there if you have anything that you want me to touch on during any of these episodes. But if not, I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for joining us for today's marketing interruption. Make sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show. And don't forget to email marketinginterruption at bluetusker.com with any marketing questions you'd like to have answered on the show. And head over to marketinginterruption.bluetusker.com to catch up on past episodes. Until next time. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.